two fine. And the back one with your foot hanging off the table. See that ankle problems? Yeah. Yeah? I see it. Yeah, this one. Yeah, this one. Coming time? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, so the person is supine. The ankle's at about 20 degrees of plantar flexion. Okay. With one hand, you should stabilize the tib and fifth. Okay. So with one hand, I'll stabilize the tib and fifth. With the other hand, I need to grasp around and posteriorly on the talus. Okay, now I'm not really on the talus. Okay, because if you look where my hand is here, my right hand, I'm just going to inch on the rotation leg for a second. All right, but I'm wrapping around the back and I'm kind of holding on to the calcaneus, I'm holding on to the talus. Okay, because I'm going to draw that talus anteriorly out from underneath the mortise. So I need to stabilize the mortise, then with my other hand, sort of hold on like this. Okay, and while he's in about 20 degrees of plantar flexion, not full plantar flexion. Okay. So, again, the hand place was a little bit tricky. My index finger sort of around the back by the Achilles, but it's inferior to the lateral malleolus. My other finger sort of wrap around the calcaneus, and I have my fourth and fifth on the, the plantar aspect of his foot. That will allow me to control how much plantar flexion is in. Bless you. Okay? So I can hold him up at about 20 degrees of plantar flexion, stabilize the mortise, okay, and just draw okay, that talus and the calcaneus anteriorly. So what I'm doing... Okay. This is a left ankle. Okay, what I would do is hold it here and here, stabilize like this. Okay, and you can see what I'm doing is I'm trying to draw that talus anterior this way. All right, so I'm stabilizing with my right hand. My hand is kind of around this way. I put them in 20 degrees of plantar flexion, and then I pull that forward, I try to draw the talus anteriorly out from underneath uh, the mortise. And typically, that will test for anterior talofibular ligament injuries as well as calcaneal fibula. Right, so just looking at it one more time, stabilize here and here, hold here and here. I've already, I'm going to move your leg into abduction shape. So you can see where my fingers are on the bottom of his foot. Got a good shot of that, Katie? Mm -hmm. Okay. So my hand's <laughs> on the bottom of his foot here. Okay, that can control my plantar flexion, dorsiflexion range that I want him in. All right, so I bring him into that 20 degrees, stabilize here, and then just draw it forward. Okay, which would be very similar to like a posterior to anterior joint modes. We're going to just test the ligament out. So we're assessing for excursion, okay, as well as end feel. How much is it moving? Okay, and I do that, and I kind of pull and let go, and I can pull and let go. He's got some motion in there, and it would be best to then compare it to what? And compare it to the other side. All right. So it's primarily a test of the ATFL and the CFL. Positive tests are your increased excursion or pain. If it's a grade one or two sprain and I tug on that ligament, there are still fibers intact that will cause pain. 